Westminster won big behind three passing touchdowns from quarterback Kyrese Walker. And Man Valley got a pair of rushing TDs from Jacob Reitz to spoil Century's homecoming. Liberty came back with a nice win against Hedgesville as QB Chase Miller had a touchdown run and a touchdown pass. Checking the football county standings now, Winters Mill and Westminster remain unbeaten in Carroll County Athletic League play. Liberty still has the one loss in county and the Lions have Carroll opponents the rest of the way. Century and South Carroll remain winless in CCAL action. Like we said, we've got FSK at Man Valley in Week 7 for the CM Sportsnet Football Game of the Week. Join me and Mike Krause for pregame coverage at 615, followed by kickoff at 630. Now let's get into our Game of the Week preview, and we begin with Francis Scott Key. Ben Stevens rushed for a touchdown last week for FSK, and the Eagles got a pair of sacks from Jacob Dell on defense, but they couldn't keep pace with Westminster and they lost. Still, Key has run the ball well, led by seniors Keandre Grooms and Stevens, and junior Jermaine Dawson. Over to Manchester Valley now, where the Mavericks averaged close to 150 yards per game on the ground, led by seniors Isaiah Farabee and Kingston Canby. Quarterback Gene Magan owns a completion percentage of 55.2 with five TD passes, and senior Anthony Hesselbein has five sacks on the season. You can see in our team stats matchup that FSK stays in most of its games so far this season. But the offense has reached double digits in the game just once. Man Valley is getting set for its third home game of the year and scored 28 points the last time they played in Manchester. Let's check in with the primary running backs for each team ahead of Friday's matchup between the Eagles and the Mavericks. Senior Keandre Grooms, who came over to Key from Westminster, is closing in on 400 rushing yards for the season. Grooms has four touchdowns on the ground for the Eagles. Mavs senior Isaiah Farabee averages 4.8 yards per carry and runs for 84 yards per game to go with two touchdowns this fall. Now it's time to hear from both coaches as they get their teams ready to face off this week. First up is FSK coach David Cunningham, who once again has a bit of a personal tie to this week's matchup. Let's listen in. Coach, we are uh, into week seven, as hard as that is to probably believe it goes fast, but um, progress is being made every week. How have you seen your guys progress from the first week of the season to now as, as the season, you know, regular season winds down? I think we've been sticking in games, but a lot of our problem is, you know, we're shooting ourselves in the foot in the long stretch, you know, with penalties or, you know, we get in the red zone and we just don't, you know, finish the job. but. The fact that the kids are continuing to stay locked in and, you know, this, like I tell you all the time, this county is extremely tough. There's a lot of great teams, great coaches and everything. So we're just looking to continue to keep striving and keep competing. You saw them get, you've seen that, you've seen them do that lately. You like what you saw a couple weeks ago, maybe a little stumble last week again. You told me good Westminster team. What has to go well for you guys this week to compete against a good Man Valley team? We have to control the run. You know, they have a big offensive line. Coach Koontz is, you know, he was my lineman coach, so I already know what to expect then. Um, we just got to control the gaps. We shut the gaps down. We got to stop um, number 14. He's a great back. And also one of my old guys I had here, Kingston Canby, you know, that carries the rock pretty well. So we just got to stay in there, control our gaps. And, and all, offensively, we got to move the ball. We got to move the ball. And, you know, we got to attack early and, you know, control the line of scrimmage completely. You already faced Coach Miller, your old head coach, yeah. now going up against Coach Koontz. Yeah. You've done it before, but uh, just bring a little extra something special to a game like this just because you go back and see the guys that you remember you know, being a player for. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great thing, man, seeing them. You know, and I know I don't know if they feel old, but, you know, they're, they're great coaches. I, you know, I try to model myself after, you know, Coach Miller and Coach Koontz. And, you know, even when I first got the job, they were the first two to call me along with Basler and give me great advice. So I'm just looking to, you know, make longevity like them. And, continue to do what I can do. Thanks to Coach Cunningham for spending some time with us. All right, let's move over to Manchester Valley and hear from Bernie Koontz as the Mavs appear to be getting a little healthier down the stretch. Coach, how have you seen the offense make some strides in the last few weeks? I know it's been win-loss, win-loss, but you, all, the points have started to come you know, pretty well for you guys. Yeah, the kids are doing a good job. We just need to be a little bit more consistent. We, that's what we were talking about today during film of, you know, we'll put together a drive, but then we can't have plays that are killing the drive or putting us behind the sticks and things like that. So they are starting to become a little bit more consistent, but be a better team and take those next steps. We need to be a little bit more uh, consistent with who we're blocking, when we're blocking, and you know, just executing from snap to whistle so that we can keep drives going. Uh, you know, I've been picking things up. Some kids have come along uh, the last couple weeks. James has made some plays. Uh, Braden made some plays this past week, uh, which helped uh, 
as another addition offensively, uh, Isaiah and King, and uh, with the addition of um, Jacob Reitz this week, they gave us another running back. So we're getting a couple more weapons and things of that nature. So it's it's helpful that spreading out the wealth and not being able to focus on one person. Going up against FSK and a former lineman of yours when you were at Winters Mill and Coach yeah. Cunningham, um, we talked to him just about how it's fun to have these relationships between the coaches. But does um, it make it a little more special when you know the guy pretty well across the other side when you're trying to get a win against him? Yeah, well, it's always good to know that you know alumni and people like that, and people that you've had a relationship with, that you know are coming along and are giving back to the game and staying involved, and that's great. David's a you know a good guy, doing a good job out there. Kids are you know, seem to be playing consistent and buying into what's going on and. Uh, hopefully they just don't get on the right track this week, but uh, <laughs> you know, wish him well every game, but the nights that we're playing each other. Right, right. Last thing, you guys both run the ball effectively. Um, the keys to winning this game for you guys are what? I mean, I think sustaining drives. We need to make sure that we take care of drives. Uh, don't shoot ourselves in the foot. Uh, defensively, he's been playing well. Uh, you know, again, minimize getting the ball back, getting off the field. Uh, and again, stopping their run game. You know, again, different formations that they've shown and things like that you know, is going to be a key to the game, I think, stopping the run game and us can, being able to continue drives. Thanks to Bernie Kuhn for the visit. And don't forget to tune in this Friday as we give you Francis Scott Key in Manchester Valley in the CM Sportsnet Game of the Week. Mike Krause joins me in the booth for the broadcast. Our pregame coverage starts at 6.15 and kickoff is set for 6.30. Now let's take a look at the rest of the Week 7 schedule for Carroll County football. Westminster hosts Century on October 13th at Ruby Field. And South Carroll gets Liberty at Parker Field in their annual rivalry game. That one went down to the wire in 2022. Winters Mill has winless Springbrook in the fourth of four straight home games for the Falcons. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.